have you been thinking about shaving the peach fuzz off your face but thought that your hair would come back thicker, darker, more coarse? Those are the myths that everybody has about when you do shave your face that that's going to happen because aren't our husbands just got this dark hair on their face? It's really prickly. It's very coarse. Well, for women, it's a lot different. All right. First of all, what is going to happen to your hair when you shave your face? Will it come back darker? Your hair is not going to come back any darker than it already is. That's because the hair on a woman's face is considered peach fuzz and it just basically is little downy hair. You've seen everybody have it. Now for me personally, I also have this little area right here on both sides of my mouth that are longer hairs and that drove me crazy for so long until I finally just gave in and said I'm going to do it. I am going to show you a demo at the end of doing the face shaving but I do want to tell you a little bit about the research that I did to kind of ease your mind and let you know what I did find out. Now the first thing I was worried about is it going to come back a different color? No. Whatever color it is right now on your face that's the color it's going to stay. For some people their hair does get darker as they get older so that hair would obviously get a little bit darker too. However, for me, I, I'm a blonde. <laughs> I actually have gone dark right now, but I am naturally dirty dishwater blonde. And so my hair on my face is very light. So I had these long hairs and I wanted to take care of them. But also when I was in my teenage years, I had this patch start right here on my neck or my chin. And all of a sudden it was getting longer and longer and they were white hairs. And so I was like, well, I'll just pluck them. Now I got this first, this information firsthand from a dermatologist. What happens when you pluck a hair is you actually damage the follicle. So you pull it out by its root, right? Well, you're damaging that follicle every time you pull it out. So what comes out might be more coarse. It might be darker because you're changing the structure of that follicle. So I do have this area right here that I have darker hair in and I have a little bit here on my chin too because the same thing happened. Now, if I'd known this as a young person, I would never have plucked my hair around my chin or my, or my neck. I would have just shaved it off. The second thing, will it come back coarser or anything like that? No, again, you're not damaging the follicle. Now, what you will notice is that you're cutting, you're blunt cutting that edge of that hair. So when it grows out, when it first grows out, it's gonna feel a little bit more stubbly, but within a week, it's gonna go back to that really fine downy hair. Think about the ends of your hair down here. When you get a cut, it just feels like those ends are blunt and they feel real healthy and you're just loving it. But after a while, like mine, your ends get a little bit thinner. That's because of just plain wear and tear on our hair. So you might notice that you're getting a little bit of stubble. Okay, what are the three things that did happen though? The first thing is my makeup looks so good after I shave my face. And so now I do it about once a week, maybe once every other week, depending on how often I see that coming back in and interfering with my makeup. I know that almost all of you will pluck your hair. You will pluck this hair in between your eyes as well because makeup doesn't sit well on there. It's unsightly. So think about how smooth your makeup can be without any peach fuzz on there. The second thing that happened is I got this exfoliation from doing it as well. That was a really big thing for me because I didn't notice how much my chin had texture on it. I had a lot of texture in this area right through here, a lot because I had a lot of scarring and acne when I was younger. And it seems like, you know, once you get that skin sloughing and you have a lot smoother skin, it's the same thing as if you did a physical or a chemical peel, you're doing that sloughing of that skin. And depending on how much pressure you put on your skin is how much exfoliation you're going to be. Now, if you get real rough with it, you're going to have a deeper exfoliation. And I don't want you to do that when you very first start. I want you to be careful. I want you to be soft. I want you to just look at the hair, getting the hair off. And then as you get more comfortable and more brave with a straight razor, you can go in and try to do a little bit deeper. And if you have sensitive skin, you don't want to irritate it to the point of it being raw because you'll never go back and do it again after that. The third thing that happened was I got so comfortable with shaving my face and sharing with everybody that I did. You should have seen my mother's face when I told her that I do shave my face. 
the old myths came back. Doesn't it come back black? Doesn't it come back super coarse? That doesn't happen to women. We just don't have the hormones to build that coarse black hair like a man does. Let me really quick share with you the razor that I use. These are Tinkle razors. You get a package of three and they sell them in multiple packages on Amazon if you want to. It is a straight razor that has a cover. It is very, very sharp. So please be very careful. And I, at first when I started doing this, I would go with the grain of my hair that was on my face because it was easier and I my skin kind of wasn't used to this. So going with the grain of my face really helped not to get any ingrown hairs, Lots of people tell me they get ingrown hairs and that could be why. The other reason that you might be getting an ingrown hair is because you might not be cleaning your blade first. Make sure that you clean this with alcohol, whether it's a new one or whether it's the second or third time you've used it. Three times is about all I can get out of this to find that I really get a really close, nice shave and exfoliation from it. So they are considered disposable and yes, you can do this with a regular twin blade four blades, whatever, but you're not going to get the exfoliation that you would get normally if you're just using a straight razor. You have the ability to use however much pressure pressure you need, whereas the other ones that have multiple razors, you can't press to your face very hard. And so that is the benefit of using a straight razor like this. And again, please clean it. Also clean your face. Now how I prepped for this demo today is I washed my face with my regular cleanser and then I put on a mask and I let that mask sit for 10 to 15 minutes because I wanted to loosen all of the dead skin that I possibly could. Then I went back in, I made sure all of that was off, splashed my face very good with water and then let it dry so that your skin is completely dry. Please do not do this with wet skin. You, will, you might take off again too much. Now if you have a specific dark spot that you are worried about, don't shave it. If it's crusty or anything like that, don't shave it. Go see your dermatologist, your doctor, and make sure that it's it's safe to take that skin off of there. Because it could be maybe a precancer cell, you know, and you should be checked anyway. At our age, we want to make sure we're proactive about skin cancer. Because when we were in the 80s and we were teenagers, we were out with the suntan lotion and those big aluminum sheets baking the crap out of ourselves. <laughs> All right, let's get into the tutorial and I'm going to be doing a voiceover while you watch. So starting off, I'm going to do around my eyebrows in between them. I do want you to notice that I'm trying to hold this blade at a 45 degree angle. And then I'm just going to do everywhere on my face that I have peach fuzz. Notice I have my fingers up pulling my skin a little bit taut. If you watch men do their, their shaving, you will see this happen each time. It's so that you don't get cut really because our skin can be a little bit lax and a little bit loose. So it's just a preventative thing. And also this is sped up three times the amount. And so it's a little bit deceiving. Just take your time, go as slow as you need to. And once you get the hang of this, you're gonna love it. And then use a little bit more pressure to get the actual skin cells instead of just the peach fuzz. But I'm telling you, you are going to love the way that your makeup lays on your skin. All right, I wanna get you as close as I possibly can. I don't know if you can notice or not how very smooth the face is. I do have a lot of skin starting to slough through here. That's the dermaplaning. That's the part where we exfoliate and it just works so well. Now I want you to go in with something very, very soothing. There's only two steps that I want you to do today and possibly tonight too after you do your dermaplaning. And one is use an very, very inert or no actives whatsoever on your face to moisturize it. Usually moisturizer will contain a bunch of ingredients. This is my favorite because it is an essence. You all have heard me preach this a million times, but it's beautiful for this time because it goes over your face and it's not going to sting. There are no alcohols in it. It just feels so soothing. So I obviously have washed my hands before I started this and all I'm gonna do now is just pat that in. And I'm telling you, this feels so good because it's a little bit cooler 
and there is no stinging. Now, I want you to go in also after this settles down a little bit, and I want you to make sure that you're using your SPF as well. You must use your SPF because what we've done in this case, depending on how deep you want it to go, like I said earlier, so whatever you've done, you want to protect your skin because we've taken up that very first layer of skin or two, and we are just taking that off, so we want to protect our skin. Okay, that was it for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy seeing this. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. Have you been doing dermaplaning or shaving your face for a long time? A lot of people just use a regular razor. I like to use the straight razor because it does go a little bit deeper and I do get the exfoliating benefits from it. All right, everyone. I hope you're having a great day. Have an even greater weekend and I will catch you in my very next video. Love you much. Bye-bye.